Welcome to this 10 minute post workout stretch. Now I know many of us get into our classes and we have maybe three minutes at the end of class to stretch it out, but so it's not really a whole lot of time. This uh, 10 minute stretch is going to allow us to touch on all different parts of the body to give it exactly what it needs post that workout. So muscles hopefully at this point are nice and warm. Hopefully you're ready to get right into it. So we're gonna start right away with a quad stretch. Always great to start with quads prime mover. So let's go ahead and balance into our left leg, grab our right foot. Now, as always, make sure you're tall through your body. Knees are going to track with each other. If you find yourself with your knee forward or your knee off to the side kind of lifted, you're really not going to get into that quad the way you want to. So drawing the knees towards center also keeps your hip in alignment. Make sure you're tall through the trunk as well. You're not collapsing forward. Also see this as not just a quad stretch, but as a hip stretch as well. So this is really wonderful. If you're having trouble bringing your heel up to hold, maybe you're finding yourself arching to the back to make it happen. Really take some time maybe even to balance your hand on a wall or something to stay nice and tall and draw the foot up maybe just within your mind's eye. Maybe the leg is not actually touching the hand, but you're just lifting it up to give it that nice little stretch. Go ahead and let's extend the left arm up if it feels comfortable with your balance. And let's hold here for a few more seconds. Really energize through that quad. Draw the knee down towards the floor. Can you really get into it? Beautiful. And let's go ahead and release that right foot, release that left arm if it was lifted, and we're going to go ahead and switch over to the left side. Balance into that right foot, swim that left shoulder back, go ahead and grab that left foot, knees track with one another, abs pull in. You could swim the right arm up to the sky. Remember, if we're dealing with any sort of balance issues, and that can be from day to day, some days you can feel really grounded and really balanced. Other days you might feel a little bit more like a wavy tree, and that is really okay. Go ahead and set your hand on something. Hold it there. You don't need to worry about that. I do it all the time. You even see me. I almost toppled over right before, so it's okay. <laughs> Good. Energize through that knee. Really engage that opening of the hip and the quad. Just hold here. Beautiful. And then go ahead and set that left foot down. Beautiful. Nice job. Shake it out. Beautiful. Let's just do a little bit of some movement through the hips here. So draw the right knee in and then out. Just some gentle circles, loosening up the joint, loosening up all the muscles around the joint as well. We move in such a front to back type of way most times in our day. Nice to kind of give the hips a little bit of loosening, a little bit of joint mobility. Beautiful. When you're ready, we'll go ahead and come back through center and reset it down to the floor. Balance into that right foot and go ahead and lift that left. It's kind of moving through the joint. This can feel really good after a heavy workout or lots of lunges or squats, just kind of moving through the hip. You can even feel the glute working here still on that balancing leg. Nice. Good. Let's go ahead. Next time you bring it through center, go ahead and set that left foot down to the floor. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and swim that right arm up towards the sky. Reach down with the left arm. Now I want you to rainbow the crown with the arm, but without lifting that right hip. So really the point here is to open up the side of the body, keep that hip really grounded so that you're not kind of just tilting over just in the for the interest of trying to create a really big lateral bend but really try to find that length and that lift through the spine so you're spacious when you come into this pose beautiful swim that right arm down take that left arm up swim the right arm all the way down same thing keep that right hip down finding that lateral bend tall through the spine Breathe into it. Terrific. Swim that left arm all the way back down. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and we're going to come into a hamstring stretch. So we take a step forward with that right foot, tall through the spine. We're going to karate chop from the hips. Lean into it here. So again, a little challenge to balance. I could feel myself kind of wibbling. Now, as I'm coming down into this forward bend, this is called pyramid. We are doing this in yoga. We're going to go ahead and find a little soft bend in that front knee. So as I'm resting my hand on the thigh, I'm not pressing down on the joint. I've got that micro bend in the knee just to give that knee a little bit of kind of freeness not to lock into the joint. 
give the back of the body a nice little stretch here. Terrific. Bend into that right knee. Take that left foot forward. Now here we're going to collapse down gently into a forward bend, giving the back of the legs, the low back, the glutes. Kind of just allow yourself to hang like a rag doll here. This can feel really releasing in the neck. Maybe shake the head no. Shake the head yes. Shake the head no. And shake the head yes. Terrific. Let's go ahead and roll into our spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, restacking them as we come all the way up to standing. Take the right foot back, and this time we're going to go ahead and find our forward bend and get into that left hamstring. Leaning down. Now, if bringing your head below your heart does not feel accessible today, just come into that tabletop position. You could kind of experiment. Maybe you come down. It really depends on what feels good for your body. But again, I'm pretty active through my spine here. I'm trying my best not to just collapse into this. <sighs> Breathing into it. Terrific. Go ahead and bend into that left knee. Take that right foot forward, round and through the spine. Come all the way up. <sighs> Wonderful. Let's come up to standing. Go ahead and take that left, right, sorry, right foot out to the side here. And we're just going to bend into a little lateral lunge here. Now, as I'm coming into this, I'm kicking my hips back and really giving my inner thigh an opportunity to stretch. So everyone's dimensions are going to be really different. So if you're coming to this, maybe you need to go in a little wider. Maybe you need to go in a little narrower. But whatever dimension you're going into, make sure your front knee is tracking over that two big toes. I can't stress that enough. Really want to keep our joints nice and safe. Terrific. Press into that balanced leg and then switch over to the other side. Just let your body kind of melt into this today. Relax into it. Back is long. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Terrific. Come back through center and let's toe heel our feet back in towards a hip distance apart position. Let's take the arms out to and above the head. From here, exhale, release the palms, turn them outwards and bring the hands behind you. Shoulders roll back, open up the chest. Now chest expansions are so nice because we live in a world where we're constantly forward flexed, just on our phones, on our computers. I mean, it's endless, right? We're always like this, maybe just stress. So I want you to imagine that you're opening your heart space, really inviting this expansion of the heart, radiating your light. Now, you don't have to interlace the fingers. That might not be accessible. You can always set your hands right on your hips. Nice job. Release the arms. Shake it out. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and let the hands rest to the side and just do some gentle roll shoulder rolls here. Beautiful. This feels really good, actually, especially after a long day. Good. Then go ahead and reverse the direction. Other way. Fantastic. Beautiful. Come back in through center. Release the shoulders back right so that they're kind of tracking underneath the ears. Turn your gaze over to the right side. Again, just this invitation to move through the cervical spine. Don't force it. We're not trying. The goal is not to turn back and look totally behind our shoulder. It's to go within the range that feels comfortable for your neck. Come back through center and turn over to the other side. Try to release the neck. Any tension that you might hear, feel here. Terrific. Come back through center. This time, drop the chin towards the chest, lengthening the back of the neck. Let the shoulders feel heavy. From here, turn your gaze over to the right. So you're still in that deepening of the chin towards the chest, but you're coming over to the right side. Back through center, over to the left. Back through center. Let the head hang for a moment or two. And then lift the gaze up towards the sky. Nice job. Let's finish off with a little hip opener here. So we're going to go into our figure four stretch. Resting the left foot into the floor, take the right ankle over that 
left knee. Now again, this can be just the right amount for you today, so don't worry about it if this is where it feels perfect for you to open up the hip. If it feels okay, you can also start bending through that left leg. Coming into a seat, as if you were seated on a chair and coming into that figure four, again, this is a beautiful place to be in where you can maybe rest your hands on a wall, on a chair, something that's not going to move and keep you safe. If you're comfortable to do this freehand, I always come to prayer pose. It just feels really humbling and homey, if you will. Terrific. Go ahead and press into that left foot. Release the left foot. Take the left ankle over the right. Bend into it. Reach down. Nice job. Tall through the spine. You're looking great. Fantastic. Press into that foot. And that's it. Shake it off. Nice job. Let's close our stretch today with a nice big inhale and exhale. When you're ready, release the arms out. Bend into the knees. Sweep into the arms. Extend the body long. Palms pressed together. And let's meet at our heart. Nice job, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me for this post-workout stretch. Enjoy it. Use it as many times as you can. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.